And um, I am here today to go ahead and show you some of the holiday makeup and kits that I've gotten, um, but actually more or less to go ahead and talk about how to use hyaluronic acid in a drier environment. And I know it's supposed to be a wonder element or a wonder, uh, wondrous a uh, new sort of way to moisturize, but in a dry environment, you have to approach it a little bit differently than you do when you have humidity in the air. So I thought I'd go ahead and give you some of the ideas and some of the strategies that have been working for me. So to go ahead and start off with, we're going to go ahead and go through what I have on here. The Supergoop Glow Oil with the SPF 50 in it. And that's my primer today. I did go ahead and get out the um, Relove Revolution Super Serum. And this one in F2. And yeah, F2. So that's one that I have on as far as my foundation today. This is the Relove Revolution that is over at Walmart in the U.S. And as far as what else I went ahead and used, um, I did go ahead and use a whole bunch of different blushes on my face here and I did go ahead and start out with the <clears throat> pardon me elf halo glow this one is in cam candlelit and so that's what I have on is the base and then I did go ahead and use one of the wet and wild uh, cheek kits to go ahead and put on as far as powder so I had this one as a base and then the holiday Foxtrot, the bright pink blush shade from Wet n Wild. So I went ahead and put that on top. And then um, the Wet n Wild kit actually comes with a blush and highlighter. And so the highlighter is in rose gold. So these come in one kit. And I used both of them on the face. And so this is the highlighter and this is the blush. And then I went ahead and put candlelit over the top. So if you want to think of it in layers, I have candlelit on the bottom, the blush on top of that, the highlighter on top of that, and then the candlelit again on top of that. And candlelit's a pretty pink shade. Um, and this whole look went a lot pinker than I thought that it was going to go. But... Um, I'm kind of liking it and what I went ahead and used for the lips is I went ahead and got the lip library from Ulta and um, it comes with four different packages and each package is like this and has uh, four products in it uh, these are the lip stains and so that's what I have on is uh, this lip stain from this kit and it doesn't have a name or a number um, they didn't do that with these so and then I put the ColourPop so glassy and this one is in cyberspace so that's what I have on as far as the lips go as far as uh, the eyes I have the NYX ultimate NYX ultimate flamingo frost so this is the NYX, uh, this is the palette they put out this year. And everybody seems to be doing the pink and green or pink and teal. And um, let's see, Alter Ego did a palette called Sakura, S-A-K-U-R-A. And um, all of this, this whole color story sort of started when Natasha Denona did the mini retro palette and then the big retro palette, which again is teal, pink, and red in there. And um, so Alter Ego did a um, palette that and they're known for doing inspired palettes and they went ahead and did Sakura. And then after that, everybody seemed to pick it up for a holiday theme this year. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, berries and teal are really pretty together. As far as what I did today is I went ahead and started with this pink in the crease. Then I blended it out with this pink down here. Um, I did go ahead and use this pink in the inner corner all the way up to the brow bone. And then I put a um, combination of this green as base. This one is a topper on the lid. And I went ahead and used this one on the brow bone and a little bit of this right under the brow. 
as far as this color um, I tried to put this on the inner corner this one right here it didn't quite work but yeah it's gonna work nice as an inner corner highlight here so there's that here's the way that this looks and I did use an eyeliner I use the cream gel eyeliner from Imrite as well so that's just about the look other than the tartlet and this is the um, mascara I'm really liking this one I got it in one of the holiday kits uh, it's a, well a deluxe size sample size to go ahead and try and I'm really liking this formula and let's see the other one that I have on is going to be the Essence Thick and Wow and so this is in Caramel Blonde so that's everything that I have on the face as far as talking about hyaluronic acid and living in a dry climate it gets a little bit trickier because I know everybody loves hyaluronic acid it's you know the ingredient that everybody wants in everything and it does do a really good job but if you live in a dry climate you need to approach it a little bit differently and I got a couple of tips and just to let you know I am not a medical person um, I don't pretend to be I'm a makeup enthusiast a skincare enthusiast and so if you want more information than what I'm given out here you probably want to go to a dermatologist or your regular doctor to go ahead and get more info and um, anyway with that disclaimer let's get started so first thing as far as going ahead and using hyaluronic acid in a really dry environment get a lot of water on your face don't dry just put the hyaluronic acid and in my case I'm using the Hado Labo uh, premium you can get this on Amazon and it has either five or seven different weights of mole molecular molecules and um, so they get into different levels some can go really deep and some will stay on the surface layer but again first off I say leave your face preferably wet not damp and then go ahead and put this on and next step because you don't want to leave it there if you leave it at that especially if you're going to bed at night it's just going to grab all the water that's on your face and all the water that's in your skin and just grab it what you want to do is lock it in and yes I have all my stuff on the floor here because the whole desk is really messy right now um, is to go ahead and put a moisturizer over the top of it and or an oil so a lot of times if I'm it's not really slugging but I mean I'll do a moisturizer and an oil and um, that really packs everything in for the night but um, you definitely use a moisturizer over the top of it so you're locking it in you're locking the dampness in your face in you're locking the hyaluronic acid in and everything's going to stay there and marinate overnight so um, and if you do slug go ahead and put another layer of Vaseline or whatever you're slugging with over the top of it but make sure that you lock it in and that way it's not uh, during the night it's not going to be going ahead and evaporating and then drawing more liquid in and then you know doing that whole thing back and forth and um, what I'm really excited about with hyaluronic acid is now it's in hair care and I tried to go ahead and do a video on this a while ago and I was having a little bit of technical problems but I think I have more to actually add in at this point so what I've been going ahead and doing is using the um, where did I put everything oh there it is okay so Garnier came out with an affordable really affordable um, hyaluronic acid uh, hair hair products and they're the pure moisture and so they have um, 
whole line and this is going to be the shampoo and the conditioner and you use them just as normal I actually like to go ahead and use these in the bathtub because I'll go ahead and wash my hair in the bathtub and then I'll have all the hyaluronic acid like floating around in the bathtub you know moisturizing me and so in dry climates we always use oil we use oil in the bathtub and we as far as most of the women I know, being in a drier climate, in the bathtub with the oil so that that way you can get moisturized until your next bath. Well, if you're in the bathtub going to have to wash in your hair, you're going to have the hyaluronic acid in there. And so your skin is getting the benefits of it. And uh, the oil is going to go ahead and lock the hyaluronic acid in. And therefore, again, you're not at the place where you get out of the bathtub and the hyaluronic acid is drying in the liquid and then it's evaporating and then that's going back and forth. So, um, yeah, I've been finding that that's been being a really nice combo for me to have oil and hyaluronic acid in the bathtub. And then I feel a lot more moisturized and not like I have, you know, that flaky, dry winter skin. So I've really been enjoying that, but I've also been doing my hair. So I'm using the shampoo and the conditioner. And then uh, for a third step, I've been using the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. So as you can see, I'm going for as much moisture and softness as I can with my hair. And when you get older, that's kind of what you end up starting to do. But I'm finding that this is working like the moisturizer does um, on my face where it's locking in the hyaluronic acid that I've already put on the hair. So I'm using this as my last step, locking it all in and hoping that for the next day to two days that everything is going to stay nice and moisturized. And yeah, I guess this is more of an older person's video or a dry skin person's video. Um, but this is what I've been finding has been working really well for me. And then the other product that I have is the Garnet Pure Moisture 10 in 1 Hyaluronic hyaluronic acid and so this is set up to actually be um, for when you dry your hair and multitasking leave-in is what it's called but it quenches your scalp it rehydrates between washes I'm reading off of here add shine add softness detangles it will it offers 450 degrees of heat protection so that's what I how I'm using it is you know I'll go ahead and do all these other steps in the shower and then when I go in the morning to go ahead and revive my hair um, on the mornings that I'm not showering and bathing I will go ahead and wet my hair down put some of this in there um, then blow dry it not till it's dry but just so it's sort of damp and that way I get the protection of um, you know the 450 degrees I also get some sort of style in my hair and a little bit of moisture and so I'm really liking this product as well I don't have anything really to go ahead and put over the top of this I guess if you wanted to put some hairspray or um, uh, hair oil you could go ahead and do that I really haven't done it yet um, but that would definitely be one way to lock the hyaluronic acid in and um, just all of these products I am really enjoying and I'm really glad that they're here and that for all of us who are dealing with getting older and dealing with dry skin or who have dry skin we have options now and it's just it's amazing and they aren't costing a gazillion dollars to purchase so um, these are some of my um, strategies for going ahead and dealing with winter skin and winter hair and dry skin and dry hair. Um, like I said, I'm an enthusiast. I don't have a degree. Um, and um, if you want more information on it, I would definitely talk to your dermatologist. Um, but 
their strategies that are working for me and I'm in a very dry climate where there is absolutely no humidity at all. So that's the video. I hope you've liked it. I hope it gave you a couple of ideas. There are actually lots of products on, in the market or on the market right now. There are a whole bunch of um, body creams that now have hyaluronic acid in them. Um, I'm seeing body creams come out with AHAs in them. So not only are they going to moisturize, but they're going to slough that dead skin.